Hello guys, and today we're playing Half Life. Some of y'all know this is an old game, bro. Like an old freaking game. But, um, it's pretty good though for an old game, you know what I'm saying? So, we're gonna, um, play the training room first. Then, cause I played this before, but. Oh, Hello and welcome to the familiar, Black Mesa please. Hazard Course, where you will be trained in the use of the hazardous environment suit. I am your holographic assistant. Let's begin by stepping into your suit. You can see it suspended up ahead of you. If you see one of these buttons, press it, and I will appear to demonstrate certain moves. Moving around in your HEV suit can be slightly disorienting at first. Take a moment to familiarize yourself with basic movement, and soon it will fit you like a second skin. I will see you second just skin. around the corner. The first move we will practice in the hazard course is basic jumping. You will attempt to get over the Easy work. work. Those two suits can be treated. Wow. Please proceed to the next area. You will now duck under the next set of obstacles. Very good. I hardly noticed you. Move on to the next area. Now we will combine you. Oh okay. Nice job. Walk directly into the ladder, look up, and continue moving forward. If you want to come back down, just move backward. Oh, Three jumps get harder each time, but they are quite possible. Okay. Don't be surprised if you miss the last one a time or two. Okay. If you can make all three in a continuum. If you keep falling uh, short, no. you might be jumping no. too soon. Yeah, you're right. Keep trying. You'll get it. Great work. Now there's one more style of jumping long you jumping need to learn. requires its own charging module, seen here. To activate your long jump, you will have to duck and move forward, and then launch into a jump. Once you're up on the platform, press the button and I will demonstrate the move. Alright. I'm gonna need that, because you just literally told me how to do it. Nice job. Start the lift by moving up to the button, looking at it, and pressing the use key. Wait, what? Oh, uh, yeah. E. Oh. Now that you're up here, there's only one way down. Find the target on the floor below. If you take any damage from the fall, we will administer medical care at the next station. Find med kits like this one throughout the Black Mesa compound. To restore your health, walk up to a med kit and press your use key. Your health will recover gradually until you are at full health or the kit is depleted. Once the light goes out, a med kit cannot be reused.
To spin that bridge, walk up to the control wheel and press the use key. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. Oh. Sometimes you'll need to rely on more than just your suit to get through a tight place. Try jumping this gap on your own. What you really need to do is push the... If you can't push the obstacle out of your way, you might try pulling it. Ooh. To pull a box, move up to it and press your use key. <laughs> While holding down the use key to keep a grip on the box, move slowly backward. The box will come along with you. Finally, if nothing else works, you can try breaking the objects in your path. Then Activate your suit flashlight for the next area. Great. Remember your flashlight drains power, so switch it off when you don't need it. Oh my god. Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and. Oh, please don't. Please stand back from the automated door and wait for the security officer to verify your identity. Before exiting the train, be sure to check your area for personal belongings. Thank you, and have a very safe and productive day. I mean, I ain't got no. Please don't put me. When I get stuck on this part, like this one part, I always get go. Solution on YouTube. Thank you very much. Uh, hey, Mr. Good to see you. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were having some problems down in the test chamber too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazards.
Ah, hello, Gordon ah, Freeman. Gordon. It's good there you are. You. We just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105 percent. Bit of gamble, but we need the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather they went to some lengths to get it. They're waiting for you, Gordon, in the test chamber. Bruh, this door didn't open last time. Greetings. It's a mouth to go critical. Yeah. What the hell is going on with uh, that? No, it wasn't uh, meant to do this in the first place. from standard analysis procedures today, Gordon. Yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And, potentially, the most unstable. Now, now, if you follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that, although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Ah, uh, yes, you're right. Gordon, we have I hope they know I'm not really fair, so well, I'm just a guy go playing ahead. as Gordon. Let's Freeman. let him in now.
say this. Sure, the rest of the science team will gladly help you. I hear something. Access denied. Access. It appears the containment system lead the way. Are you gonna help me or in the order? Oh, okay. Alright. Yeah, do that. Alright. Oh, if I would have ran. Oh, okay. 